Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest in Kitsia V5. In this whole tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design the different parts of the late slide, late slide rest and finally assemble all the parts together to form the complete assembly here. On the left side you can see the different drawing views which are required to complete the design. In this particular part of the series, I'm going to show you how you can design the tool holder which you can see over here. So for doing that, let me open up a new part design workbench that is start mechanical design part design and first of all name the product late slide rest is the name of the product hyphen the part number is 7 and the uh, pro the part name is tool holder click on ok and you got the new part I'll be zooming into the part which we are going to design right now select the face the plane and click on sketch and do the first base here so basically we are going to start with the base give a pad then give another circle give a pad we're going to do it this way so I'll click on the circle the diameter of uh, 48 so we can also do this by the other way of uh, the other way which I have explained you before the industrial way so I'll be giving a 142 height okay so we got a whole solid now so you can name it as a uh, whole solid whole solid okay now we're going to remove one by one each part from this so I'll click on insert body and I'll make it as a define and work object click on the face click on sketch All right. make sure that you have given the diameter as uh, 48 over here yeah, it's 48 itself whenever you uh, you click or you do anything in the other body you need to come back to this and if you want to work in this define work object should be done select the face click on the sketch once again now we'll remove this particular portion here so for doing that I'll just create a rectangle somewhere here and give this length as 48 by 2 because we know the whole diameter is 48 and this one is 28 by 2 and this thickness is 10 and this particular height is 12 once it's turned green come out of the sketch and then do a groove it should not be a shaft it should be a groove make sure that you're doing the groove select the z-axis click on OK now right click on the body and click on assemble so we got that first portion being removed now now we're gonna select the same plane before doing that insert another body and define in work object select this face click on sketch and we need to create this kind of sketch here in such a way that this line is at a distance of uh, 48 by 2 and this comes coincident with this and this point to this axis is of distance 20 and this height is 40 come out of the sketch and again do a groove with respect to the z-axis and now 
right click object assemble so we got that portion being removed now the next thing is to be done is to remove this portion here and finally dig a hole that we're going to deal with in the next part of the tutorial and if you have any doubts regarding this particular part please comment on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you and uh, if you have any CAD related projects you can write to me at ketia.prototuser at gmail.com and also you can uh, follow me on my blog www.cadmadeeasy.blogspot.com that's all thank you for watching guys and stay tuned